Bullish stocks giving up some of their early gains, falling further into a bear market on concerns that higher inflation will lead to a recession and uh, hurt earnings. But my next guest says even if we enter a recession, it will be a numerical one, a technical one, not a real world one. Joining me now is Neil Hennessy. He's the chief market strategist at Hennessy Funds. Neil, it's great to have you. Great to have your advice in a week like this. What do you mean by just a numerical recession? Well, I think, you know, if you look at numerically, if the uh, economy slows down two quarters in a row, essentially then we're in technically a recession. But there's more to the numeric numbers than just that when you start to look at the total picture, Kelly. I mean, you have to look at what else happens during a recession. Normally you have unemployment go up. We have a problem hiring people right now, let alone unemployment going up. You also see wages declining. We have a hard time uh, hiring people, and what you can hire, you're paying higher wages. At the same time, you see companies get squeezed and go bankrupt. You also have the financial institutions getting squeezed, and the financial institutions are so strong today that, yes, we could go into what technically is a recession, but you have to, I think, uh, separate what the feds are doing, what the stock market's doing, and what the real world or companies are doing. Sure. And companies, go ahead, Kelly. Well, I think the difference, too, right now is we have such high nominal growth in the economy. So, in other words, we could have a 10% growth quarter with 10% inflation, and that, you know, in real terms, it feels like zero. But my real question for you is this. So we might be in one in, what, three or four quarters, 18 months from now. I mean, that... For people who feel like, look, it's inevitable we're going to get some kind of hard landing out of this, just a question of when, can you still own stocks in the meantime? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you look at yesterday, for instance, 98% of the stocks were down. Does that mean 98% of the companies were going broke or not making money or not paying their dividends? No. The last time we some, saw something close to that, you weren't even born, Kelly. That was October of 87. Well, oh. over 99% went down in one day. So essentially, if you, like I say, separate what's happening out there, and you can go out and buy really good companies that have low price to sales uh, ratios, they have high earnings, they have dividends, they have the coverage for the dividends. And so there's a lot of, a lot of good quality companies to be bought. Now, does it make it scary for somebody to go in today and buy? Yes. But the reality is the market's not going broke. It just came down. If people don't believe that interest rates are going up, please get out of the market. But we've been saying that for years from zero to where? Yeah. Right now you got the two, five, 10, 30. They're all yielding, what, 3.4%. No, I mean, is, that's just crazy. This is a sequence of events you've been telling us is coming. And, and for the record, I, I, I might not have been paying attention to macro, but I was around in 87, <laughs> maybe just in diapers. <laughs> so you have stocks here, BJ's Wholesale Club, Goodyear Tire, Rider System. And BJ's and Rider have basically outperformed year to date. Goodyear's been a tougher one, but again, if you would say that the landscape has shifted in the direction that you've told us it was going to shift, Neil, do you, what are the stocks, what kind of returns should investors realistically expect for the next uh, little while then? Well, I think it goes back to the old philosophy we've had here at Hennessy for a long time. It's time in the market, not timing the market. And so we've always used price to sales as a truer number than earnings per share. And so when you can go out and buy, say, um, uh, BJ Wholesale, which everybody knows if the economy slows down, more and more people gravitate to a Walmart, a BJ's or Sam's or whatever. And you can buy it for like, uh, say, 50 cents on the dollar. You're paying 50 cents for a dollar in revenue and they're earning, and they don't pay a dividend. They could start a dividend. You could look at, uh, yes, General Tires had a hard time, but if you look at what's happened in the automobile industry and the amount of used cars out there, I mean, used cars need more tires, let alone service, than a new car, and you're looking at something that are, has a price-to-sales ratio of 0.2 and still doesn't pay a dividend, or rider system that's done extremely well. And here, a company's earning $10, pay a dividend at $2.32. So there's plenty to go and buy, but it's really patience. And, and, and what we're seeing now is the route in tech is continually going. And so they say we're in bear territory, Kelly. The Dow Jones is only down 15%, but there's only 10% of the Dow Jones in tech. 
compared to 27% of the S&P 500 is in pure tech. In tech's getting killed, we know that. But the rest of the market seems to be in very good shape and right. good for a buying opportunity. It's almost, there's the Dow 30 and then there's the Hennessy picks. And those are, uh, you know, that your self-selected index is, is trying to avoid those, uh, those potholes right now. Neil, again, great to have you on today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Neil Hennessy with Hennessy Funds.